This video will cover the topic, Introduction to Simplifying a Product Involving Square Roots Using the Distributive Property. Simplifying a product involves multiplication, right? That's right. From the title, we can also gather that the multiplication will involve square roots. In this topic, we'll need to remember the property, the square root of a times the square root of b equals the square root of a times b. This will help us as we simplify the problems given to us. So what kind of problems will we see in this topic? Let's look at an example problem. Square root of 3 times the quantity square root of 5 minus 8. Our first step is to distribute the square root of 3 to each term in the parentheses. So we multiply the square root of 5 times the square root of 3, and we multiply negative 8 times the square root of 3. This leaves us with the square root of 3 times the square root of 5 minus the square root of 3 times 8. Remembering the property mentioned earlier, the square root of 3 times the square root of 5 becomes the square root of 3 times 5. 3 times 5 is 15, so we get the square root of 15. Negative square root 3 times 8 can be rewritten as negative 8 square root 3 leaving us with the square root of 15 minus 8 square root 3. Note that the square root of 15 is in simplified radical form because 15 has no perfect square factors other than 1. Similarly, the square root of 3 is also in simplified radical form because 3 has no perfect square factors other than 1. Why don't you try the next problem? The square root of 5 times the quantity 4 minus the square root of 7. Okay, well first we need to distribute the square root of 5. So we multiply 4 by the square root of 5, and we multiply negative square root of 7 by the square root of 5. That leaves us with 4 times the square root of 5, and negative square root of 7 times the square root of 5. Simplifying we get 4 square root 5 minus the square root of 35 because 7 times 5 equals 35. Do you think we can simplify any of these square roots? Well, 5 has no perfect square factors other than 1, and 35 has no perfect square factors other than 1, so this is as simplified as we can get it. You're right. So our final answer is 4 square root 5 minus the square root of 35. Okay, so to simplify a product involving square roots, we first distribute the square root expression outside the parentheses to each of the terms inside the parentheses. When we multiply two square root expressions together, we can write the product as one square root expression by multiplying together the numbers inside the two original square roots. Great work. It seems like you're getting the hang of this topic. 